hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife my people allegedly we heard that the king have asked queen naomi that same question once again and they said that queen naomi who has always been silent about this whole thing recall that some time ago they said uh the women of ife that are based in diaspora when they came asking the king why Kwenomi is still outside up till now and they said they gave the king time to you know either fix Kwenomi or release her so that uh, she will uh, move on with her life they said the king who was afraid of uh, you know losing all sent a, a question through the women to Queen Naomi and the question is is Queen Naomi going to return back to the palace if the king make all these other Oloris to relocate from the palace? Because uh, according to him, he said that the kind of uh, body language that Queen Naomi was giving him then, uh, and I think it's still like that now, is that uh, she don't care about anyone or anything concerning the palace any longer. So, but one thing is certain. The king is not ready to let Queen Naomi go, you know, and the women are not happy with the condition of Queen Naomi because she's not uh, in her matrimonial home and she's not free from the marriage. So in a state where she is, she's in a kind of a stagnant, a stagnant state, you know, it's like the king push her in a corner and they lock her up there. She cannot uh, remarry. She cannot enjoy her own marriage. So you see, uh, that state is not too good for her and the women we are consigned that was why they were involved and all of that so but after all these uh, promises that the king have promised the women and all of that uh, uh, some people are saying he was unable to take decision or take any drastic decision against the women because he is still afraid that Kwenomi might not return back to him after uh, driving away all these Oloris and he wouldn't want a situation whereby he will lose Queen Naomi and also lose all the women with their wealth and with one reason or the other that he married them for because we do know that the king did not marry them for love I don't know I don't know it, took, it could be possible that he married them for love or anything but I believe his men love, his love, I don't know if uh, love have men and the uh, auxiliary and the sub-men, sub-love, I don't know. But from what he's telling, making us believe is that all oh, he loves Queen Naomi, for sure. Then why he married all these other Oloris is what we don't know. Uh, although some said is they are Ifa wives. If I, is it Ifa that is knocking them? Or is it Ifa that is uh, taking care of them? I'm just wondering if our wife is just a scam. Seriously, it is. Because uh, if they are a, a far wife, is it not supposed to be a far priest that should be taking care of them? Mm -hmm. So because since this a far wife, a far wife that uh, we were hearing, and before you know it, they become KBS's wife. So my people, uh, let's not just uh, dwell on that. So they said the king had been afraid of uh, losing both sides. So that's why he keep asking Queen Naomi if she is going to return back to the palace after uh, if he sent the women away, you know, or if he relocates them. Let's not use the word sending them away because we do know that they came from, uh, most of them came from a well notable families and their families are expecting a lot from the king, you know because they are his responsibilities he married them legally so uh, uh, sending them away is, will not be the best word to use but rather relocating them for the sake of prince Tadeni Kawo and uh, queen naomi you know so f for some people that are believing that uh, uh, the king can just wake up and say all of them oh yeah leave my palace i don't want to marry again and all of that it's not going to be that easy unless that person commits you know unless that copy uh, that person committed something that will lead to that uh -huh. but some of them they are well grounded that even if they commit they have people that will talk on their behalf people that will you know work on their behalf and do some kayamata them and everything will be settled 
So the king is afraid of losing, uh, losing both sides. They said he visited Queen Naomi in her Akure mansion, you know, and during the course of their discussion, uh, he asked that question with seriousness. They said he was, when he, when he was asking uh, her that question, that it was with, as in kind of, I don't know how to express it, you know. So, but one thing they said is that uh, Queen Naomi did not answer that question. Recall that when they said the women of, women of Ilefe and uh, asked her the same question, she did not say yes or no. You know, she did not say, I will return to the palace if you re relocate the women or I will not return to the palace if you relocate the women. Okay, during that time, what we heard was that she answered was that she is never the problem of their marriage. That if the king is ready to keep a home, you know, that she is ready. You know, that if the king is ready to keep a home and uh, not uh, with so many women, I don't know, but from what she's saying, she did not say, yes, I will return to the palace or no, I will not return to the palace. And this is a, a, a situation that have put this uh, king in a state of confusion. So as it is now, the king is, uh, is, is, well, is very confused with this silence of uh, Queen Naomi. Because if she's that type of human, women that when they're angry or when they feel something about something, they will just voice, it, voice out and start uh, you know, making noise and all of that. It will be very easy to to say her mind, but in this state, in this situation, it is very hard to say that this is what she have in mind. Even all this uh, Kayamata, all these uh, Oloris who are deep in Kayamata and all of that, they cannot read her mind. They cannot even make their babalao to do something that will make them read her mind. Because if that is possible, you see, you know that uh, Wala don't do. So as it is now, the king don't know if to go ahead with the relocation and all of that. And that is why a lot of people are saying that, uh, that there is still a slightest chance that Queen Naomi might return to the palace if the king do what he needs to do. Why others are saying that uh, he just wants to uh, keep drawing the king to herself, that she have her own way of making the king always coming to beg her and all of that. Anyone, everyone has his or her own titles now. And her, or her own wouldn't be a problem since the king have his own, own titles too. So uh, uh, they said the king was so curious to know if she's ready to return back to the palace after uh, relocating the wives. But instead of asking that question, why not go ahead and relocate the, uh, the wives and know the uh, outcome? Anyways, that is my humble suggestion. I don't know what you guys think about it. But from the look of things, we cannot just say Queen Naomi is returning back to the palace or she is not returning back to the palace. All she wants is her freedom. That is what uh, I can say for now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Because we do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.